Hello, this is Reggie with Reggie's Urban Jungle, and today I will be doing an update on my new alligator enclosure. As you can see, I have my alligator Alan. He is also in there with two snapping turtles, which are hiding. One is in the log, and the other one is under the rock slate. He was previously in a 75 gallon aquarium and he, him and his tank mates quickly outgrew that so I went and bought a 50 gallon Rubbermaid tub and I framed it on a six foot piece of plywood so this enclosure is six foot long three feet deep 18 inches high I have three filters I have a canister filter I have a hang over the back filter which is obviously sitting inside the tub and I also have a power head with a sponge on it and I still have to clean all three of those at least once or twice a week because alligators and snapping turtles do produce a lot of waste I have a log, a fake log, which the snapping turtle and the alligator itself, they like to hide in. But right here is everyone's favorite spot. And over there I have a basking spot with two dome lights. Temperature gets up to 120 degrees and that seems to be another favorite spot when I'm not in here scaring them but I feel this is a lot more spacious until he gets his outdoor enclosure. Alan is a rescue. I did rescue him from someone I know. Not that he was being abused or anything, but just didn't have the means to take care of him anymore. So I stepped in and have been raising him ever since. And for those who don't know, when you try to aquascape or put stuff around in an alligator enclosure, they will move it probably about as soon as you put them back in there. So it'll never be the same two days in a row. That's why I have a rock on top of one of the filters. But just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the new enclosure. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe.